Hello my angels and welcome back to my channel. So last week I decided that I wanted to do another Q&A video because I get so many questions asked to me like on Instagram and stuff so I thought it would be a quite a nice way for me to not only answer your guys' questions but also a way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. I am so up for you guys answering like your favourite question from the videos and leaving me an answer in the comment section below because I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better as well. But before I get stuck into the questions, along with me and this little guy over here who is Baymax from the new Disney movie Big Hero 6 would like to give all of my beautiful and wonderful subscribers a massive massive virtual hug because today is actually national hug day so let's all hug our computer screens or hug some around us because hugging is like the best and it gives you the best feeling ever it's one of my favorite things to do and this actually takes me on to my first question that I got asked so the first question is from Shalini187 and she has asked who is your favorite Disney princess and I'm gonna go out on a whim here and I am gonna say Princess Anna from Frozen and I don't think she is officially a Disney princess but I'm gonna say she is because she is awesome. She is so normal. She's like me, clumsy, weird, crazy. Like she is just so normal and I find that I can so relate to her. And I am a huge fan of Disney movies and I love like the animated ones and even the old school ones like Lion King. Nothing beats Lion King. Underscore Sandy Chandra has asked, what helps you to be positive all the time? Now, I am going to be super super honest with you guys, I try and be positive 100% of the time but I am human, like I am not positive 100% of the time or all the time. Like we all have our ups and downs and we all have different ways of kind of bringing ourselves up. I like to kind of be by myself when I'm like not feeling as positive and then I also do like to spend a lot of time with my other half because he is a very 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 positive person um, and I'm just gonna put a little plug in here because he has started his own like online magazine where you can read about loads of things about positivity and generally it's all about living like the good life and I will leave a link to his website in the info box below so please 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 do check that out and make sure you like like the Facebook page and follow him on Twitter because he is always sending out so many positive messages. I think it's so important to have positive people around you. I think that's one of the most easiest ways to live a positive lifestyle because if you imagine having like super negative people around you and all the kinds of things that they might be saying, it does put an effect on you as a person. I would say like reading good positive material and having positive people around you are the two kind of key main ways that I like to say positive myself. Finished by me um, has asked can you please film some Indian recipes? Now I would love to film some like Indian food cooking videos because my mum makes incredible food. I don't know would you guys like to see um, any Indian recipes on my channel? Dappies Bay asked how many siblings do you have? So I actually only have one sibling and it is my brother Jay and he is like eight years older than me. So we have a massive age gap, but um, the older we've gotten, the closer we've gotten, which is really nice, but I only have one sibling. Harry's underscore jeans X asked, what's your favorite lipstick that you own? I am a lipstick hoarder. Like 90% of the time when I go to like Boots or Superdrug or out shopping, I will buy some sort of lip product because I am just obsessed with lipsticks and I don't really have a favorite. I'm always changing my color up. I'm always mixing like three colors together. So I don't have a favorite lipstick. Is that really bad? Japney KR asked, hi Kosh, I love watching your videos and wanted to know what's your favorite blush and would you recommend it? Okay, so my favorite blush is Dolce Vita by NARS because it is the blush that goes with any eye makeup that I do, any lipstick that I wear, and it's a blush that I can wear all year round. So that has to be my favorite blush of all time. Kiani Patel X asked, what's your favorite thing about India? I'm looking to go soon. First of all, you will love it. Second of all, my favorite thing was, mm, I have two favorite things actually. So the first favorite thing was seeing all my family because I hadn't seen some of them in years. And third, second, third, 
Second? I think it's second. The food. Like, I eat Indian food at home, like, all the time. But eating it in India is just something else. I have no words for the food in India. It is that good. Underscore CZ14 asked, what's your favourite Mexican food? I love Mexican food and I think my favourite 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 Mexican dish would have to be... Do you know what? I love burritos. Oh, actually no. Tell a lie. I love Taco Bell and it's probably not very authentic but I love their chalupas. The Baja Chalupa. Oh my god, it's so good. Zakra1503 has asked, can you fake any accents? I can totally fake an Indian accent because my mum speaks in an Indian accent. Um, let me try and say something, what can I say? Um, do you know what I am? My mind has gone blank. You know that with that feeling when like, there is nothing inside your brain and you can hear like air? That's what's happening right now. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, I give up. Whipped Caviar One asked, if you could have only one Indian food or dish for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? I think, do you know what, I can't do it. <laughs> I actually can't do it. I love so many Indian dishes. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna say three. One is dar, because I love dar and I can eat it by itself, with lots of peanuts in it, because I love dar with peanuts. Second one would have to be Ras and Puri. And then the third one would have to be Oro, which is like an aubergine curry. And that's like my favorite curry. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. I have so many favorite curries. Okay, this is a good one. Rafaela PS underscore has asked, would you rather have eyelashes as fingers or fingers as eyelashes. I have this weird thing where I don't like too many fingers. Like there was this advert on TV, I think it was like a Nivea advert or something like that and there were just loads of like hands everywhere doing this stuff and it freaked me out like I don't like it. Although it would make my life really difficult, I would want eyelashes as my fingers. Doodoo -doo underscore delights asked, what do you prefer, mascara or lipstick? I obviously love both. I would have to say lipstick because it can like just change the way you feel. When I wear like a red lipstick, I'm like, yeah, nobody can mess with me today. And then when I wear a pink lipstick, I feel like really girly. And then when I wear like a nude lipstick, I feel really glam. So yeah, I would say lipstick. Simran Saini underscore X asked, what's your favorite website to order makeup from in the UK? Generally speaking, I order from either Feel Unique or Look Fantastic. Sparkle of TYT asked, if there is one American thing, makeup brand, food store, etc., which would you bring to the UK permanently? Oh my God. This is like the most difficult question ever. Oh. I love Taco Bell, guys. There is not enough. Wait, no wait, Taco Bell's already in the in England. There's like one in London and one in Manchester. So it would have to be Sephora. Shay3RI um, asked, how much do you love your beautiful skin color? Would you switch up to a fairer tone given the option? This is one thing that is such a big talking point for Indians, like being fairer or being lighter skin. Why, why? Like everyone should feel comfortable in their skin and not want to like bleach their skin. It's something that I wish I could change because it's quite sad that racism occurs in the, like, in the Asian kind of community. I think it's really sad. Be happy and love your skin and love yourself. I wouldn't care what color my skin was. I would still be me. Like, I don't think that your skin should define you as a person. Wow, I'm going really deep here, but yeah. <coughs> um, I had a frog in my throat there. Ex Shayna Somerville asked, what's your favorite clothes shop? And I'm going to cheat and I'm going to say ASOS because I do like 90% of my shopping from there. Underscore underscore Resh XO asked, any s embarrassing stories? So I have this one embarrassing story and I remembered it when I was in India. So we were there for my cousin's wedding years ago. I'm talking like 15 years ago, so I was really young then. All of us cousins were walking from our hotel to our house and um, I was like being me, looking around, talking, and we're just walking down this road and I walk straight into a sign and like it whacked me on the head 
and I think I fell over. It made like this big, you know that doing sound? It made that sound, it was so embarrassing. But now that I look back on it, it's really funny. I have another story, so growing up, um, my brother always used to like tease me and my other two cousins. So my brother thought it would be really, really funny to play with those Pop Goes the Weasel things. And he was like, oh, let me put one on your head. So I was like, okay. And he stuck a Pop Goes the Weasel thing here on my forehead and he waited for it to pop and it didn't pop. And it basically made a perfectly round circular bruise on my head. It was so weird. My grandma actually had to tell people, because we were going to a wedding, that I was ill because I had this random circular bruise on my forehead. Ravina SMA asked, what's your zodiac sign? And my zodiac sign is Leo. And Simmer Down Simran asked, when's your birthday? And my birthday is on the 9th of August. Apoma asked, what were your parents' style when they raised you? Were they laid back, strict, etc.? I think my parents had kind of like a good cop, bad cop situation. But I was like a daddy's girl when I was growing up and he, I think, was the good cop a lot of the times. But they were quite strict when it came to certain things. I think they had like a really good balance. It's Scruthy Mate asked, what do you order when you go to McDonald's? And I generally order a veggie burger meal sometimes a large, with sweet and sour sauce to dip my chips in, with a Diet Coke. And sometimes I might even just swap the drink for a McFlurry. If you're gonna go to McDonald's, you gotta go all out. I'm so gonna stretch my feet out. Vidhi Sony asked, what is one thing a girl should never be afraid of and what's the one quality every girl should have? The one thing that a girl should never be afraid of is the opinion of others because no one should care about people's opinions because I don't know, it's just an opinion, it's not a fact, it shouldn't change you as a person. And the quality that I think every single girl should have is to love themselves. Like, if you don't love yourself, how are you going to be able to let other people love you? Like, you've just got to be confident and love yourself. Girl power. Ella.Kanye asked, are you a good singer? I love your voice. So I do this thing, whenever my boyfriend's like, oh, sing me a song, this is what I do. And that is my song, that's my jam. Every single time he asks me to sing, that's the only song I sing, because I think my singing sucks. I feel like I can sing amazing. When there's like a song playing in the background, I will be singing along to it, and as soon as that song is turned off, I'm like, whoa, do I sound like that? But yeah, I don't think I'm very good. Sparkly Say says, what's your favorite emoji and why? And I think the one that I use the most is the one that does this. That's my favorite one. Never Neverland asks, can we see a picture of fetus? younger you and I thought that question was so hilarious and I will put a picture up here somewhere of what I looked like when I was younger and I don't think much has changed what do you think? Fatima underscore Begum 14 asked what's your favorite thing to do when you go to India and that is drink sugarcane juice, drink chai from the streets and eat lots of street food. Promise Fistule asked why does a round pizza come in a square box? This has just blown my mind. Why? Oh my God. It's like when you go to the cinema, what side of the armrest is yours? There are so many questions in life that just haven't been answered yet. And I don't think I have the answers. Ashley Salgado asked, please show us pictures of your boyfriend. I have lots of pictures of me and him together on my Instagram, so don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting pictures. But I will put a picture up over here of me and him so you guys can see what he looks like. Amber Shah underscore asked, do you like potatoes? I love potatoes. I love chips. I love jacket potatoes. I love potato curry. I love potatoes. Seema98 asked when did you start wearing makeup and lots of people also asked me this question and I think I started wearing makeup properly around in terms of like proper makeup so like foundation and blusher and this and that I would probably say I was around 17 or 18. Simran X Spinoza asked any tips for growing out hair a couple of years ago I had like quite short hair and I was like right I want to grow it out like I need to do something to make it grow faster and rather than going out and like buying vitamins and all of that 
I just made sure that I didn't apply too much heat on my hair. So I would not really straighten my hair, not really blow dry my hair, and then I also used to tie it up in like a um, tight ponytail to kind of make it grow faster. I used to do those two things and they seem to work pretty well for me. Gayatri Vaishnavi asked, if you were to be in any other profession, what would you like to be? I used to want to be a archaeologist. I have this fascination with Egypt and I used to want to be like working on an archaeological site. So guys, that is the end of my Q&A video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I have done so much talking in this video that I will see you all in my next one. Bye!